I'm an androgynous woman. The man takes up space in his movements. Masculine. Feminine. Rich Markland is a drag king, a woman who becomes a man on stage. She plays with gender roles, provokes, celebrates difference. Queer performance art in Berlin. Shall we introduce to the stage the creator, the founder of Go Drag? Yeah. Let's hear, make some noise for the one and only, the drag legend, Rich Markland! Rich Markland has spent nearly two years preparing the new season of her Go Drag Festival, securing state and private funding and drumming up drag performers from all over the world. The opening party is in a Prenzlauer Berg bar, home turf for the Berlin native. She has been performing as a drag king for more than 30 years, a woman posing as a man. She earns a comfortable living from it. The question of whether she is a man or a woman has followed her all her life. I've never tried to pass for a man. I've always put on makeup too. I've always liked playing both sides, very ambiguous. Today you'd say non-binary. But since the 80s and 90s, I've always said I'm an androgynous woman. And on stage, I become men who really pass for men. She plays with gender cliches, like her character Karl, a man so stiff that he can't touch the floor with his hands. Or as Sasha, who sees the world as his oyster. or as herself in the Berlinale documentary Venus Boys. Even as a child, she liked slipping into other roles. As a child, I was crazy about carnival. My friends had to dress up for my birthday parties. I always had real carnival parties. In her teens, she realized she preferred men's clothes over dresses, especially on stage. But she started along the conventional path and became a certified gymnastics teacher. With rhythm or whatever, that was 40 years ago. In more than 30 years on the stage, she has built up her own Bridge Markland archive of VHS tapes of her TV performances, photos and newspaper clippings. There was a big article in Spiegel in 1996, which really started the ball rolling. Suddenly I was on all the talk shows, on all the TV stations at the time. I did something, somewhere, anything, and people paid money for it. Great. Just great. Großartig. Ganz toll. Women dressing as men was a novelty in the 1990s and very cutting edge. And Bridge Markland was the drag king trailblazer in Germany, says a compatriot. At that time, it was not yet normal for trans or drag people to be really part of the shows or to have their own roles. I think she set the standard back then. 
Leonie Bauman has been a curator for decades and has known Bridge Markland from her start. The artist paved the way for drag performers in Germany and not without resistance. Today, women performing in men's clothing no longer causes a stir here. Yes, I remember that. It wasn't easy for some. She remains unique in this scene. In this respect, she's become a role model for others. Quite an achievement for someone who started out in the early 90s to now be revered as a role model. Bridge Markland's best-known performance is The Most Beautiful Woman in the World, a striptease in which a woman changes into a man. Markland wants her performances to provoke, and her motivation is very personal. It grew from many things, one of which was a massive childhood trauma. When I was 17, my father stopped talking to me, just ignored me. Later, I started going into the audience, getting right in their faces, forcing them to acknowledge me, to look at me. But that's who I am. I demand that again and again because I have a real problem with being ignored. At the end, it's a man standing on the stage. Intense reactions are rare, but during two performances, she was groped by drunk men, traumatizing her. Somehow I hid the pain away and took a deep breath and thought, OK, when I've changed into a man, I'm coming back with this microphone. And I showed him up in front of the whole room with the microphone in my hand. And he sat there in his chair and shrank down very small. He took it from me as a man because I really had this male energy at that moment. This time, the audience is calm. What Bridge Markland does is a bit raunchy for burlesque, but that's part of it. I'm 73 now. We lived through a time 50 years ago when it was so uptight, and then this breaking free. That's where we want to go, and I definitely recommend it. Very good. I didn't know what to expect, but it was good. I have to say I wasn't really impressed. I have to let it sink in. Even Bridge's mother watches the performance. I already knew it a bit, and it's a little strange and modern, but why not? It was good. It was fun. <laughs> Bridge Markland's trademark for decades has been her shaved head. For me, the shaved head is neutral. I can put anything on it, male, female, whatever. But for others, it isn't normal at all. They have to create a narrative around it. It's so interesting to see how people react. Why is that woman bald? Is she even a woman? What's wrong with her? But for me, it's neutral. I can put any role on it. It's great. Bridge is at the Jewish cemetery in Berlin's Weissensee district. Some years ago, she developed a deep interest in her family roots. She has Jewish ancestors, and a great aunt is buried here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm drawn to many expressions of Jewish culture. Sometimes, when I hear this beautiful music, my heart breaks and I want to cry. It somehow pulls my roots toward it. Jewishness is really very expressive, and I'm a little sad that it has been cut off in my family. Except for my father and an aunt, the family didn't survive. Despite her family's history, she says she's not religious. Back to the Go Drag Festival. In the theatre dressing room, Bridge is more of a vintage drag queen. With the new blood, there's more colour and glitter. Bridge likes that. And the different forms of drag. For the young generation, a beard is a must. At the end, they all go on stage together and take a bow. Bridge, now in a striped black and yellow costume, gets an extra round of applause. Bridge is over 60 and has been in the business for more than 30 years. And she wants more. I'm a shape. 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 Britt Markland hopes to soon take her festival around the world. <laughs>